And from there, we walk uh, just uh, a few steps uh, down to the Chevrolet uh, display where we had the opportunity to talk to Tim Mahoney, Chevrolet Global Chief Marketing Officer, to talk about all the, the huge success that Chevrolet is having, not only here in the U.S., but all around the world. Well, Tim, uh, we're here at the Miami Auto Show sitting in the back of the new Impala, right? Absolutely. And yep. uh, it's stunning. I mean, it's so beautiful. I mean, the, the craftsmanship, the leather, the materials, it's really, really, really nice. So congratulations on that. Thank you very much. I, I love the new Impala. In fact, uh, it's the car I drive every day back in Detroit. Excellent. Well, different weather here in Miami. No? I know, <laughs> and I'm happy to be here. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great to be here. And, uh, the bad weather is, not the bad weather, the cold weather is uh, starting just. It's coming. Start. It's coming, yeah. But anyway, about things coming, um, I think great news are coming for uh, Chevrolet. It's been coming in for a, a, a few years now, yeah. but uh, yeah. more things. This is more or less the start of the auto show season here in the United States. Even the Miami has a few things. We just saw the new Cadillac um, Escalade. Yeah. And um, we're sitting behind us is the new Stingray, which is, I think is going to start getting like great news in the, in the next few months, right? Absolutely. You know, it, it's a great time to be the CMO at Chevrolet because there's so much wonderful product coming into the market. Uh, the Impala, the Stingray for sure, the new Silverado. Um, we have 13 launches in 13 months uh, for the brand, so a lot of new product. In the past 13 months or in the, in the coming? Over this past year. So in the model year 13, or the calendar year 13, there's 13, 13 new vehicles coming. Uh, next month uh, in the Los Angeles Auto Show, we'll unveil the new midsize pickup truck, the Colorado. So great, great product uh, uh, coming to market. Which makes your job a little bit easier? <laughs> it, it's never easy, but it makes it easier, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the, the, the Stingray, the Stingray's already uh, it's been delivered to the dealerships, no? And I, I hear like the demand is huge. I mean, uh, you cannot keep up with, the, with that. Exactly. Yeah, it started to flow into the dealerships in, in late August. Uh, and on paper, there's about a 15-day supply. In reality, the cars are turning almost immediately when they hit the, uh, the showroom floor. The, the styling is stunning. I think it's absolutely, in the seventh generation, the best Corvette we've produced in terms of technology performance design it's 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 a really beautiful car yeah initially some people uh, were a little bit shocked with the design and the exterior design especially because it looks so different from the previous generation but once the people started like looking at it in detail i yeah. mean they fall in love with it yeah right? absolutely you know a, a designer once told me if it's too comfortable when you see it for the first time we're not pushing enough and you need just a little bit of uncomfort i think to, to kind of be contemporary and be relevant and 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 really move forward with with design yeah and uh, that car is and as I, I, was, I was talking about the new good news coming up for for uh, for the brand in yep. general. That's uh, on the list on the short list for Car of the Year award. And uh, I don't have a boat, but if I had, I would vote for it. And I'm <laughs> sure it's gonna win. I, I think, although it's competing with this one too, the that's Impala. Ex that's exactly right. Both both the car we're sitting in and the new new 2014 Impala and the Stingray uh, are are getting onto the short list. We hope into into the Car of the Year. Yeah, and again, so we saw the Escalade, which is some. In the 2015 model. That's if, correct. Even though we're 13, <laughs> the yes, end of 2013. Yes. Yep. So that's going to be for sure going to on the list for another word. Uh, in the absolutely, months, right? absolutely. Yeah. And we have actually the new Suburban here too, which is a 2015 that's coming out here in the Chevrolet stand yeah, as well. Excellent. So uh, we're at the Auto Show here in Miami. Um, this is a pretty important market, right, for, for Chevrolet in general, and it's been very good for you guys. It, it absolutely is an important market for us, uh, and we, we do well here in Florida. The Chevy Cruze is, is, is our best seller in the state of Florida. Uh, Hispanic market in general is important. One out of ten sales of Chevrolet go to a Hispanic consumer, so uh, it's, 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 it's a really important market for us. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations on all the beautiful products that you're showing up here, and uh, we'll keep enjoying the show here with Chevrolet. Excellent. Nice to talk thank with you. Thank you, Tim. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Ese fue Tim Mahoney, el eh, director general eh, global de marketing de mercadeo del grupo Chevrolet eh, durante el Miami International Auto Show. Y como estábamos diciendo ahí en la entrevista, el eh, Corvette Stingray 2014, la séptima generación del Corvette, ha sido seleccionado Star of the Show, ha sido seleccionado también eh, como el auto display, el auto emblema del, del auto show y está ahí justo a la entrada del Miami Beach Convention Center para que lo admire todo el mundo. También de, la, de estos uh, vehículos del Corvette, de la Escalade, tenemos varios videos publicados ya en nuestro sitio de YouTube, YouTube uh, slash Javier Mota. También pueden seguir toda la información que estamos, uh, todos los temas de los que estamos hablando en este show en la página de Facebook, facebook.com slash Javier Auto 060, a mí me pueden seguir por uh, Twitter, arroba Javier Mota, para que estén enterados y puedan ver 
eh, todos los videos, todo el contenido de lo que estamos hablando aquí en el, en el show Auto 060, en el especial del Miami International Auto Show. Eh, en el siguiente segmento vamos a cambiar eh, no solamente de escenario, vamos a cambiar también de, de clima, porque antes del Miami International, International Auto Show estuvimos en un lugar completamente en el otro extremo, en Islandia, pasando, eh, digamos, un cambio de temperatura de más de 50 grados. Y hasta allá fuimos a probar el uh, Subaru XB Crosstrek Hybrid, del cual uh, también estaba en el Miami International Auto Show. Y para ser un poco cómicos, me tomé una, una fotografía con la chaqueta, con la chamarra de, de invierno que estuvimos en Islandia. Así que cuando regresemos, la Subaru XB Crosstrek Hybrid desde Islandia aquí en Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota.